it's already filling up again. It's a sunny day in October. These are the 500 amps batteries. It's my inverter, 1700 watts. And here, it's not a pretty device. Uh, these are the eight coils of my Bedini SSG sword state. That's, you can hear it hum. Um, battery's almost full now. Took only two, three hours this morning, but I didn't take out a lot last uh, evening. Oh, here's a remote switch connection. Just going to the house. And in the night I can switch it when it's dark and then I pull from the evening, pull the current from the batteries and in a good sunny day I can put it back in. And the batteries are improving, they were old but uh, they're getting better. So here we have the Solarding converters which in the day convert the power from the solar panels which are on the roof on the outside, this is the inside they're all panels, they were only 10 euros a piece 50 watts uh, I have 22 of them and they give me about 1 kilowatt it's together <coughs> So these are during the day giving me the power back to the grid. The only problem is that I'm not getting paid for putting it into the grid because my meter is only doing one way and the company here is not very flexible. That's why I have the batteries for the during the night, the, the, the evenings and I use the batteries. Just one more thing, this is the management of the two solar dens that I have running. They generate about the same. So now it's uh, around uh, 11 o'clock in the morning in October uh, and it's uh, generating more than 300 watts each, so uh, around uh, 650 watts delivering directly to the grid that I can use right now. I have some panels split off that I use for filling the battery. I can switch them also where I need them. If I need more in the day then I can switch them off from the battery. If I need more in the night or in the evening I can switch them Okay, here you can see it is not always sunny. Actually, it was a very bad year. But this is what one unit is delivering. So you can double that. And uh, at this moment, I'm not at max, but 66%. 330 watts now. Well, that's it. Okay. Maybe half an hour more. Now I made this solid state just like the normal Bedini wheel. So it means when I turn it off. Yeah, okay, so when I turn it on, it's not automatically uh, going on. Uh, it's not starting right away. That's what I want, because I don't want it to start when I'm not around or when something happens. It should shut off and not start again. And if I want it to start, I just give it a little pulse 
like uh, with a normal Bedini wheel you give it a spin and the magnet passing by and starts and now I made this artificial with one switch which makes it start and uh, that's working okay so that's it I think I have my power back up now so for emergencies or whatever happens I can uh, go without a grid and uh, well, it works so far only problem is that uh, efficiency is not as good as when for example I would put the solar directly on the battery uh, you lose some energy but on the other hand the batteries will last much longer and it's also uh, something a trade-off well I think this is a better way of charging so for now I stay with this and uh, I will do no more uh, investigating the Bedini stuff I mean, it works and uh, it's okay so that's the end Okay, one more thing. She was running uh, at a max of uh, 10 amps at uh, maximum 25 volts, so 250 watts. That's at the max going in. Yeah. Looks like junk, but it works, and that's what counts for me.